Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing everything to do with visas. Um, the visa application, the requirements, what it means for people living in the Caribbean, what can you do, where can you go, everything, the works. So stay tuned. <laughs> Before I get into the video, I would just like to let you all know, and I'll also tell you at the end, that um, probably at the end of this month, I'm trying to do a video answering your burning questions about living in Germany. Any questions you have about Germany, Germany on the whole, I'm going to try to answer it in one video. So if it is you know that you have any questions for me, you could either reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, my Gmail, which I'll give below, or you could just leave a comment directly here on the YouTube. Anyway, let's get into this video. So before I get into the whole requirements and who can apply and who needs to apply for what, um, the standard rule of thumb regarding applying for, applying for a visa in Germany is if you are required to stay more than the three months or the 90 day period, you must apply for a visa. So that is all foreigners who would like to stay for more than the three months or the 90 day mark need to apply for a visa. So that should already cover or answer any questions that you had about whether or not you need to apply for a visa. Now, there are three main types of visas. The first one is the airport transit visa. The second one is um, a three month visa, which is a short term visa. And the third one is more than three months visa. Um, so firstly, we can discuss a little bit about the airport transit visa. This one is very simple. If you know you that you need to transit through Germany, um, and you require a visa to enter the country which means that with your passport you cannot enter germany without a visa then you need an airport transit visa however this airport transit visa literally only covers if you need to transit within the same terminal and if your luggage has already been checked through to your final destination if it is you required to leave that terminal or to transfer terminals to another terminal or collect your luggage this means that you can no longer ap apply for this airport transit visa, but you need to now apply for a short-term Schengen visa. So that's really something to take note of um, because it's very specific regarding who can actually apply for the airport transfer visa. Next, next we're going to discuss a little bit about the three-month visa, which I'm not going to get into too much detail because there are a lot of specifics regarding a Schengen visa. However, many countries in the Caribbean do not need a visa at all to come into Germany for short stays so that's why I'm not going to get into too much depth depth however if you're a viewer and you're outside of this region and you really would like me to answer those questions please leave me a comment below and I can go into more detail about the three-month Schengen visa now saying that if you didn't know um people from a lot of the Caribbean countries including but not limited to Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we are all entitled based on our, um, just with our passports alone, we are able to enter the, enter Germany and also travel throughout the Schengen zone for three months without a visa, which is super useful if it is you ever wanted to travel to Europe Oh, well, you just felt like having a vacation in Italy. You don't need a visa. We are good to go with our passports alone. So then that brings me to the third and final scenario, which is where most people would need to apply. This is for if you have a stay more than 90 days, you now need to apply for a three month visa. They will give you this visa for three months and then you need to take this into the foreigner's office to apply for a residence permit. Without this document, you will not be able to facilitate would acquire a residence permit because you should have applied from the country in which you left for this long-term visa so to say so it sounds a little bit confusing but this is just the way that they do it here so you apply for this three-month visa at the german embassy and once you have all the right paperwork it's going to go through they're going to send it back to you in your passport um, and then you're able to travel to germany and then once you get to Germany, you need to now apply for a residence permit so that you can have a residence permit for the duration of your actual stay. So let us get into the requirements for this 
more than 90 day visa um and as i said this is for people who are students or potential students people who are looking for family reunification that is if you have a uh, husband mother father parents whatever living in germany and you would like to be reunited with them you also um can apply for this um more than 90 day visa um in order to reunite with your family and you can also apply for this visa if it is you're looking or if it is you have a job letter um to work in germany this is also the visa that you need to apply for and then again apply for the residence permits when you arrive here this these steps they're very simple the first step you need to do is to make an appointment online no appointments are available by phone the only way that you can make an appointment is through the online portal and it's very user friendly you can just go on and you can directly see what days and times they have available appointments i really advise that if it is you need a visa within three months you should apply as soon as possible you should get your appointment as soon as possible and the next step would be actually to go to your appointment with all the required documents which i'm going to list next so the requirements the first thing you need to have of course two passport photos as i said in my video before um if you didn't get a chance to look at that video now is a good time to look at that video um where i was basically given an introduction of coming to germany you always need to have passport photos so in this case you also need to have two passport photos you need to have a valid passport issued within the last 10 years and also valid for at least six months after your entry into germany you will also need to fill out the application form which is located online on the website you will also need to print two copies of this online application and these can only be submitted on the day of your appointment there is no other way to submit it so just be there on time for your appointment let me just let me just pause there i said on time because i know me and i know trinis and i know caribbean people we can't be on time for anything but if it's one thing you need to be on time for is this appointment Germans are always, always on time, so maybe it's going to be a little quick training for you to get accustomed to how it will actually be here, be when you move to Germany, because really, people are always on time. Actually, they're even early, so get there early. Um, and like I said in my previous video, try to only walk with what it is you need for the um, appointment and leave your big handbag at home. Of course, you're going to need the letter of acceptance from your university. I would advise that you make copies of this letter because you're going to need to show it in several points. So just always have the original as well as maybe three or four copies with you so that you can always just give them as required. You will also need to have proof of funds, whether it be the actual funds in a bank account or um, proof that you would be using a sponsor, which is basically somebody who will cover your finances and you need to also give their information um, at the visa appointment. You also need to work with the visa fee, which is 75 euros um, in TT Trinidad and Tobago dollars. Of course, you don't need to work with it in euros, but it, the cost is 75 euros. Um, and finally, after the appointment, what you need to do is present health insurance or proof of health insurance that's going to cover you for the first three months when you're in Germany. What I personally did is I actually signed up for some travel insurance that will cover me for three months because in Trinidad it's a bit complicated to just get a three month health insurance policy. Um, but definitely travel insurance will cover all of your health related problems within the first three months of your stay in Germany. Why they say three months is because that first three months is for you to organize all of your stuff, all of your um, your residence permit, your health insurance, all of the bureaucratic things that you would need to do in Germany. They expect that you can do it in the first three months. And thus from the fourth month, you would have German health insurance, which is mandatory. And yeah, that's basically it. Super simple. You don't need that much. Um, I would say that the most questions that I've ever gotten about the visa um, requirements would be the proof of funds. Yes, you need to prove that you have enough funds to survive for the first year of your studies. Um, and when you come to Germany, you're required to put that in a blocked account. But I think that's something I would have to explain in another video 
um, it's mandatory for foreigners to put all of your money in a block account but again I'm going to go through that in another video but that's all I had for you guys on visa requirements if it is you think I left out anything or there are still some questions that you feel like I didn't answer leave me a comment below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video